Hi, my name is Ken Hughes. I would like to talk to you today about change. Change is disruptive. Change is profitable, opportunistic. It's also terrifying. And we are in one of the biggest points of inflection and pivoting that our businesses have ever seen, certainly in the last decade, maybe the next 20, 30 years, who knows. So I want to talk you and bring you back to physics 101, to high school. Uh, have a look at this. This is you trying to push a crate up a hill. Why? I have no idea, but there you are. And there are natural forces pressing down against you. That's gravity and the mass, the weight of the crate. And those two forces are pushing down against you, trying to stop you, move the crate up the hill. Now, to do that, you've got to invoke Newton's third law of motion, which is the application of a greater or equal force than the natural forces. Now, if you apply that to change, it's the same thing. So if you look at how our businesses are changing, there are natural forces. And in, so in this case, it's C, it's little C now pushing down on us. And those natural forces, massive behavioral change, massive social change, huge um, change in expectations of our consumers because of the pandemic. And so all those changes are pushing on your business. And you have to apply a greater force than the forces of change to move your business forward. And it's, I mean, as I said, change is terrifying, but often when we get scared as humans, there are three things that we do. There's the fight, flight, or freeze. And those are three responses to sudden fear and change. And I think maybe if we look at all those and try and identify which one of those is best for, for business survival in the pandemic, it might be worthwhile. So let's take the first one, the freeze. And the freeze is often done by small animals like a rabbit or a chipmunk uh, in nature to escape its predator. So predators are generally using motion to single out their prey and if they freeze, then they disappear off the radar of their predator. Now, the problem with the freeze, and it did happen in a lot of businesses during the pandemic, a lot of businesses just kind of downed tools and decided, well, I'll wait it out. I'll see what my competitors do. It'll only be two or three months change. I'm sure it'll all be fine. It'll all go back to normal, <laughs> normal. Um, so they decided to freeze. The problem with freezing, and it might work fine if you're a small animal, but if you drop off the radar of your customers, it's probably not a great idea. Uh, and also, if you stand still, in a moment of rapid change, as the environment around you changes so much, you actually start to move backwards. Even though you're standing still, everything around you is moving forward so fast, you end up kind of drifting backwards. So the freeze is probably not a great strategy for business uh, survival and thriving right now. So that brings us on then to the flight. What about running? You know, uh, There's a wonderful joke from one of my favorite Scottish comedians, Billy Connolly. He tells a joke about two men who walk into the desert to shoot a documentary. A nature documentary and they're setting up their cameras and there's a pride of lions there in the in the distance and they're doing their work and suddenly the pride of lions see them and they start to slowly move towards them and they gather pace and this big male lion breaks for them and and at that moment the cameraman reaches into his equipment bag and he takes out a pair of trainers and he slips off his sandals and he starts to lace up his trainers and the other guy is panicking he says well, what are you doing you're never going to outrun a, a lion with trainers he says no i don't need to outrun the lion I just need to outrun you. <laughs> and that's true, I suppose. We need to outrun our competitors right now. You don't necessarily need to have the best, fantastic, most perfect strategy, but you just need to have one better than your competitor. Uh, and so the, the flight piece, it is important, but running from something isn't necessarily gonna, gonna make your business thrive. It might make it survive just right now. So that leaves us with the fight one. You know, it's really fighting for our survival. Now, fighting things head on isn't always the best idea. So around now, this time of year, we all get um, trained by lifeguards around the world to identify a riptide. A riptide current is a current on the beach that heads that brings you straight out as a swimmer. So the sandbar is, is slightly higher and, and the water comes in onto the beach and then comes out like a funnel and brings the swimmers straight out. Most people, when they get caught in a riptide current, automatically your survival instinct kicks in and you turn around and you try and swim right back to shore. Of course you do. You're being carried out away from the shore, away from your family, away from your friends. So you try and swim back as hard as you can to the shore. But of course, you're stuck in this huge current and you're never going to be able to fight against the strength of the tide and the current that's bringing you out. What you do is you swim sideways and you swim sideways out of the current. And the moment you're out of the current, you can then swim back to the beach quite easily. I think a lot of businesses find themselves in that riptide right now. We've had the sand pulled out from under us. We're being carried away. We feel that we're, being, we're out of control. We're being carried away. What you need to do, instead of you know, trying to fight things head on, is you need to pivot. And that's really where we need to do today. We need to pivot the businesses and you need to swim perpendicular to the shore and find new ways to apply the assets that you have in your business, new ways of doing business, new channels to reach your customers. So really, if you keep doing the same thing that you were doing, just stronger, you're not going to survive because things have changed so much. You have to find new ways to reach your goals. 
And that really, I think, is the, the best survival strategy right now for the forces of change that we're in, is to pivot the business assets in a different direction. Use what you have, your skills, your experience, your employees, all the physical assets you have, but you need to pivot them in a slightly different business. Otherwise, you're just trying to swim harder against the current and you're just going to get a lot tireder so that's the forces of change hope it helped uh, again the, the the motion here is to move the business forward um, and not to just stand still and hope that things will go back to normal because we're not in that space we're going to be in this for 12 or 18 months more in terms of consumer behavior shifts a lot of consumer behavior shifts aren't going to go back to normal ever again so you need to make sure we're moving the business forward and not just holding that crate on the hill until next time see you